it's time again for another bug out bag compartment video. As a lot of you know, I'm currently doing a redesign of my bug out bag and I have everything organized into various compartments, uh, different categories. So today what I'd like to go over is my shelter compartment. Now this one's taken me a long time. It's taken around six to eight months really to get everything that I've wanted. I've been trying not to just go crazy and spend everything all at once. So I've been slowly stockpiling these items. So this is probably going to be a two part video series. On the first part, I'm just going to show you everything on the tabletop. We'll talk over briefly why I went with this route. And then for the part two, I'm going to show you them in display. So I'll go out into a field or in grass or something and kind of show you all the shelter items that I'm going with. So for this particular compartment, this is one of the, the compartments that's kind of heavy normally. So when you're talking things like a sleeping bag and a tent and a sleeping pad, you know, it's, it's heavy and bulky. So what I really wanted to do was get a lot of influences from ultralight backpackers. One in particular that I really enjoyed watching uh, his videos and articles is Eric the Black. Make sure you go check out his website and his uh, YouTube channel. It's a great channel. I'll put an annotation. So what I want to do is make everything on this compartment as light as possible and as small as possible. And that allows me to carry some of the other items like his tools that are also very heavy. So if I figured if I condensed the size of the shelf shelter in both size and weight I could add some of the other items that I really want to have in an urban setting. So let's get started with the shelter compartment. Now when you're talking shelter one of the first items that you like to discuss is whether to go with a tent or not. So what I've been finding is that the tents are probably better suited for rural bug out scenarios. And I live in an urban setting and I don't think it's uh, necessarily good to have a tent in all situations. For example here's a location that it wouldn't probably be good to have a tent. Here's a location that would not work well for a tent. All right, so from my investigation, I decided not to go with a tent uh, on my bug out bag just because I'm dealing with a lot of brick and concrete and I wanted to have something a little bit smaller and lightweight. But because my bug out scenario is with a family, I have uh, Miss Urban Prepper and Baby Prepper, you know, I, I do want to have a tent. So I'm just not necessarily going to carry this tent. So this is going to be attached on Miss Urban Prepper's bug out bag, which I'm going to be working on later. And I'm going to go with more of a backup shelter just in case I have to go by myself. So this one is going, this is the REI quarter dome t2 plus it's an ultralight three season tent uh and it's a very nice it's, it's very tall for me because i'm a tall guy i need to fit it's 94 inches in length so uh, that helps me out a lot but this is not going to be going on my bug out bag so for my bug out bag i want to have a backup shelter just to, uh, just in case i have to go somewhere by myself and so what i decided to go with was the tarp setup and the tarp i chose was is an ultralight tarp it's made by gossamer gear and it's called the sill twin tarp and it's a very lightweight it's around 11 ounces or so and it's a very high quality tarp it's not something like getting a you know a little paint uh, tarp that you use for painting the house it's very uh, high quality uh, highly recommended by ultralight backpackers by the way made by a great company that kind of focuses on lightweight products so it comes with some some little string here as well and it has some very nice uh, a ceiling to it where you put the stakes and everything. And I really enjoy the color of this. I think it's very uh, neutral. It's not going to stick out. When you go on the website, the Gossamer's, Gossamer Gear's website, uh, they show this one in white. And I was really happy to see that it came in this kind of off green color. So I'm going to be going uh, with this tarp setup. So in addition to this tarp, what I'm going to need to have is some uh, some stakes for it. Some people use their, you know, their hiking sticks. I'm not going to have any of those for my bug out bag. So what I did was I also on Gossamer's website, you could buy some of these tarp uh, uh, poles, which you could use, and they're extremely light. Let me get the scale out really quick just to show you. So let's have it calibrate. And these two poles weigh 3.4 ounces or about 90 to 95 grams. So this is gonna be the shelter that I'm gonna be going with for my bob. And as you can see, it's very small. It's gonna fit easily into the backpack. The next item to go over is the sleeping bag setup. Back last summer, I had a video where I talked about, I was had a question regarding how you guys store your sleeping bags for your bug out bags. And I got a lot of responses. I really appreciated it. So what I decided to do was have two sleeping bag options to use. So this is actually gonna be my secondary option. And this is, a, this is a, I have a REI Sahara sleeping bag in this. It's a 20 degree sleeping bag. It's just something I've had for a while. And this is uh, made by Sea to Summit, which I've been really Really enjoying this company. It's a waterproof compression 
uh, bag. And it's, it's very nice. I actually don't have the bag stuffed in as tight as I could. I just kind of threw it in there for this video. Uh, but this is a very nice waterproof compression sack for my sleeping bag. I won't take out the sleeping bag right now just because uh, it won't really fit in the camera. But what I'm planning on doing for the storage of this is I'm going to have the sleeping bag hanging loose in the cl same closet that I'm going to have my bug out bag in. And I'm going to have this, this sleeping bag compression sack right next to it. So in the case that I have time to put it away to pack it, I'm going to be using this and attaching it to the bottom of of my backpack. And on some cases where I don't necessarily have time to put away a sleeping bag, for example if there was an earthquake and I just needed to run, grab the bug out bag and run as fast as possible, I needed to have a backup option. So what I decided to go with was this is the Soul Thermal Bivy. It's a little bit larger of a bivy than what I have in my EDC backpack. I'll put an annotation there. Uh, but it's a very nice uh, ultralight uh, sleeping system that you could use. You know, you're definitely not going to like it as much as the sleeping bag, for example. But uh, at, at 8.9 ounces, it's extremely lightweight. It reflects 80% of the body heat. Uh, it's windproof and waterproof. That's a two-ply, and it's a, it's a lot more durable than one you would get. I'm not going to take it out of here, uh, but it's a lot more durable than you'd get with those little uh, you know, space blankets or anything like that. So, And this will fit very nicely into my backpack. So I'm going to have this no matter what, and I'm also going to have this, if time permits, in a bug-out scenario. Uh, but for you know what's going to be in the backpack, I'm going to have this sole thermal bivy. All right, the next thing I want to go over is my ground tarp. Now, I live in Washington State, um, Western Washington, and it rains a lot over here, so the ground's constantly wet. So I wanted to have something that would keep the ground dry for me in case of a bug-out scenario. So I didn't want to go with anything that you could get, like at Home Depot, for example, some painting tarp. So what I got here, this is, I'm not going to unfold it out, it's 4x8, and it's made, it's, the type of material is Tyvek. And you can get this on eBay, uh, you might be able to find it on Amazon. It's a 4x8, it's very popular with ultralight backpackers. It has these nice little loops here for your ground stakes and uh, it's a very very durable lightweight tarp, uh, ground tarp. So the only problem with it it's a little loud as you can hear but what I really liked is that it was very durable. It's, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna I'm gonna poke holes in this that easily. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be going with my ground tarp and then to put everything into the ground including the you know the the tent tarp that I'm using and the ground one, I'm going to be using some stakes. And the ones I went with, this is a little REI bag, for, by the way, and the stakes that I went with are, these are made by MSR, they're called Groundhog Stakes, and I have 11 of them over here. So I got 11 because I'm going to be using six of them for the Gossamer Gear tarp, and I'm going to be using four for the ground tarp, and then I have an additional one. So I have six for six for this, four for this, and then one just to have for a backup. So I wanted to have have that just in case I lost one or broke one. But uh, these are very durable, high quality uh, stakes that are they're very popular. If you've if you've used these before, you know that they're really good. So uh, that's what I went with for my ground tarp and the stakes. Let's continue on. Last but not least, I like to go over my sleeping pad. And I say that in quotes because it's not really a sleeping pad. And I'll show I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, last fall, I posted a video and I was asking you guys what you use for your sleeping pads. And people were recommending various foam pads, uh, the self-inflatable ones. And I tried all of those out, believe me. And what I found is that I don't really like sleeping on any of them. I'm very un uncomfortable. I'll just wake up in the middle of the night multiple times. And for me, sleep is very, very, very important in a bug-out scenario. So I wanted to be able to sleep as well as possible. So I had to kind of up the ante a little bit. So I wanted to go as close to a bed as I could. And what I decided to go with was the Luxury Light Ultralight Cot. Now this is a very, very, very lightweight cot. It's 2.12 ounces and it's very small too. This bag kind of doesn't do it justice. It's a very thin, for example, if you look at the tent here, uh, the tent kind of dwarfs it. So what I was going to do is have this also on the bottom of my uh, backpack and carry that with me. Now this thing kind of it advertised that you're kind of floating above the ground. There's several videos on YouTube that you can see if you're interested in learning more about it. Uh, I'm not going to take it out here for this video for part two. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So I wanted to go with this also because you know for since I'm in an urban setting I might not always be on dirt and in the woods or anything like that. I might be in an emergency shelter in a school gymnasium if there is some kind of earthquake or if, if the place that I live at was damaged or I might be at a friend's or relative's house and it wouldn't it be nice to instead of sleeping on the ground with a pad you could sleep on a cot uh, and be more like a, your normal bed so that's what I decided to go with and I figured since I saved some weight by not carrying a tent on me and some of the other heavier weight items I could have a little bit of luxury and so this is the luxury light ultralight cot by the way I'm gonna be doing product reviews of all the items that you see here so uh, have no fear Th those are gonna be coming out uh, 
as I uh, do more videos. So I'll keep an eye out for those and I'll try to do the this caught one, one of the first ones I do. So that's going to be it for part one of my shelter compartment video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What I'm going to do for part two now is set up all this outside and we'll talk over some of the items in a little bit more detail for that video. So I'm going to go outside and find some grassy area and then I'll be showing you these as they would look as if I were to use them. So again, please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed watching this bug out bag compartment video on my shelter compartment. Take care guys. Bye.